Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Serlem Ultimate. This episode is probably going to be the last one that we are going to be doing for regular realm delving before we step back into the Gate of the Gods. It's because this episode we are going to be handing in our Rune of Prophecies after we finish our uh, experiment mission and then I've decided that that's as good a point as any to uh, take a bit of a break from regular realms and go back into the Gate of the Gods because we do need to get those achievements done but yeah this episode we are going to be just doing regular realms once again um, other than uh, the uh, experiment mission, which is just going to happen over time. We are also going to be farming for uh, elemental cards, because I think that's the final resource-boosting card set that we haven't gotten yet. I mean, th there are other resource-boosting card sets, but those are very trivial. They only boost resources, like, from realm objects, and uh, realm objects give you basically nothing. But this card set, and as you can see, we've only recently unlocked most of these creatures, which is why they're still F rank. This card set, I think, is going to give us uh, some uh, nice bonuses for uh, getting more notoriety from the Riddle Dwarf games, I believe. We'll confirm that. As we start getting those cards for now, though, <coughs> excuse me, for now, though, I think we're just going to go into a regular realm, a regular random realm, and we'll see what, uh, what we can do. Again, we've got to roll a nice bonus, and, okay. This time I didn't click past. I have been very bad at accidentally clicking past, uh, like getting a good bonus and then immediately not, uh, um, like, and then immediately clicking past it because my fingers aren't on the same, uh, same frequency as my brain. They're, they're a little bit behind and then my eyes see it. I explained this last episode, but my fingers are still in the clicking motion. And it's like you're almost watching it happen in slow motion. Your uh, thumb pressing down when you don't want it to. It's a, it's a surreal and almost uh, like a, a terrifying sensation when you think about it. When you think about just you know how your brain actually works as a machine. But anyway, that's uh, enough of that existential horror. I think it's time to just get into some realm delving. And let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We're in the Bastion of the Void. Sorry, I was just admiring the music uh, for a moment. I think that, I mean, this is one of the, uh, it's not super loud, but I think it's the fact that it has, like, it's a rock music track with a bit of percussion. So tracks like these tend to, uh, like, they tend to stick out a lot more compared to something like, uh, you know, the Frostbite Caverns, which is a very subdued track. So when I'm deciding on what the audio level is going to be, I wish there was like a super custom audio level where I could, where it would automatically pump up for the uh, quieter songs and then down for the uh, louder uh, uh, tracks. But such a thing doesn't... I mean, there are very few games where you'd have this level of control. 
so instead what I've been trying to do is, uh, I've mentioned this before, that I, I have to decide whether I want to err on the side of being too quiet or too loud. So if I make it so that the quieter songs are perfectly audible, that'll mean that the louder songs are a little bit, a little bit too loud when I listen back to them. On the other hand, if I make it so that the louder songs are at the optimal level, then the quieter tracks will be a little bit too quiet. And between those two options, I decided that it's better for things to be a little bit too quiet compared to too loud. Just cause, you know, then the game can still be nice and relaxing. And I think that fits the overall vibe of this series a little bit better. Uh, Sanctum Umbra and Gambler's Hive. I think those are the, the loudest tracks in the game. And uh, they're definitely, I think, at the right level that they should be. Although I haven't... I don't know if I've listened to them since I made the, the slight adjustment to the uh, levels that I mentioned a couple of episodes ago. So, so you know, we, we, can ch we can check back the next time we, we are in those uh, levels whether they're sounding uh, the way they should. Alright. Well, let's keep on going in uh, the Bastion of the Void. What do we need to do? We need to find one more geyser. Have we found the uh, Divination Candle? I'm not sure if we have. Not sure if we have. We are going to be killing this uh, master. Alright, I think we can just punch these guys to death. Maybe not. That uh, One of them is feeling pretty tanky, it seems. But I think we've uh, dealt out enough punishment that we can kill you pretty easily. And this is going to be our fifth win against this master, the Shadow Master giving us the Shadow Master costume. You could briefly see it there in that list of loot that we got after killing it, and we did indeed. We'll skip that past this, okay. So you know what, I'll start getting some Whiskles. And the reason I'm getting these instead of the, uh, I think the, the Vulpuries, is because we can take these guys to S rank as well, and taking them to S rank will mean that we will slightly improve uh, the odds that when we get knowledge drops that they will be for uh, those other creatures that we newly unlocked. Alright. Oh my god, what are, what are these guys doing? I hate it when people do things at the start of combat. It bothers me greatly. It looks like most of the time they're not. So that's okay. Because if it gets really annoying, we can wait to fight them until we get into a realm where we can silence enemies. But that's kind of a last resort situation that I will save for only the, uh, the worst enemies. Hey, look, already we're getting uh, knowledge with one of the newly unlocked um, creatures, the Rye Trap in that case. We need to bring them to rank C before we can start summoning them at the candle, so that might, might take a bit of time. <coughs> but taking creatures to rank S. Ooh, hey, look, more nether stones, hell yeah. We are another stone weak, so shouldn't be surprised that we're getting uh, getting these drops. But you know, any rare drop that you get is always going to be a good time. Most of these, though, are going to get turned into piety later on. But hey, you know, then that's a bit of piety that we won't have to grind from other sources. So that's that's still good. 
Alright, uh, anything left to explore in this realm? The answer is yes. A couple places to go. A couple things to see. Is there any reason to be up here? Not really. I'll, I'll kill this one guy. But I'm not going to go out of my way to kill uh, the even enemies that we've summoned. Because I do want to be a little bit more efficient about getting through realms. Just to, you know, play the game in a somewhat slightly more optimal, optimal manner. Alright, now what was that that we needed to do? Nothing there. We needed to just explore the uh, final place and of course hand in our realm quest as well there we go the goblet is full all right i'm gonna have to hey look even more nether stones hell yeah um where's the exit uh, there's one last place that we should check. Could be something in here. There wasn't, but there could have been. Now I'm gonna head home and, uh... I'm probably gonna have to go off-screen while I'm re-rolling the Goblet of Trials, because it, it could take a while. And previously, I'd been doing it on, on camera, but it, it does take a little bit longer. I'll explain why it takes a little bit longer when we get back home. But, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just show you. I think we were done with that realm. I think we beat the master. Yes, we, we definitely did. So, let me first collect the goblet. And it took a while for it to even give us the reward. Like, there's a bit of a delay. That's a bit of a clue as to why I'm going to be doing... Uh, the re-rolling off-screen. Okay, more things going to rank S. It's always great. And we could be an evoker, but I prefer to stay as the animator. Now, before episode 200, that is to say, before we had added any decorative objects to this realm, rolling this was very quick. But now that I've added a whole bunch of uh, aesthetic objects to the realm, it seems that every time I roll this, it saves and then loads the entire uh, hub area. So it takes considerably longer. Like, look at how long it took for us to get just that one reroll. And because this now takes so much longer, this process of rerolling, well, I mean, in this case, we just got lucky. <laughs> we just got lucky that it only took two re-rolls. But in subsequent episodes, when I need to re-roll this, I will be doing it off-screen, just because if we have to re-roll it, like, I don't know, 40 times maybe, sometimes you can be re-rolling it for quite a while. If it comes to that, then we're gonna have to, uh... I mean, I guess, ooh, 468, that is juicy, so juicy, in fact, that I'm even going to accept the fact that we are having enemies resurrect on death. But yeah, if we have to reroll the goblet a bunch, and, uh, in, you know, in, in subsequent episodes, I'll, I'll do it off screen, just, just to not have to do it all, like, it's literally just dead a dead runtime for the video where nothing is happening other than just re-rolling and it can be a bit of a like just just adding extra runtime to the episode where nothing is happening I'd, I prefer to uh, cut out things like those oh hey we have a treasure golem all right we're gonna have to uh, make sure that he doesn't run away extra traits that's not good And people are resurrecting on death as well. Which is kind of terrible. Okay. I'll be doing blank slate. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna be summoning any divination enemies in this round, just because. Uh, how dare enemies resurrect? That is outrageous. I'm not gonna stand for it. Already donated. That's fine. Blank slate followed by this. So, we got a really nice loot bonus, but we're paying for it with the fact that the uh, enemies, uh, like the realm properties are annoying. Yeah, look at this garbage. Like, they. One of them, for some reason, was above us in the timeline. Possibly due to one of its random traits. Alright, alright. Uh, you have Blank Slate just naturally, that's good. <laughs> there was no reason to... What? What? Why... Why did the Mimic cast... Greater Dispel? Did I cast the wrong spell? I'd... I thought I used the macro. I must have just misclicked. I must have just misclicked, anyway. Not sure why this Joker didn't die, that's disappointing. I prefer battles to end before it gets to these, uh, before it gets to Meraxxus's turn, because he always takes a while. He always does take a while. Alright. Start with a uh, nice blank slate. Follow up with a nice one of these. Okay. I think the game popped up some loot and then unpopped it because it wasn't rare loot. It was loot that should have been filtered out. And sometimes the game does this where it will show the pop-up for loot that shouldn't be displayed, but then I guess like it'll realize that the pop-up shouldn't be there and it'll uh, uh, get rid of the pop-up. But it's always a little bit confusing and disorienting whenever it happens. Like, you think you got something, but then if you notice what was actually in there in the brief moment before it goes away, you're like, oh no, that wasn't... That wasn't actually rare loot, that was just a... Uh, stuff that it... Sh you see, it just did it again. Like, it, it was just stuff that it should have never shown in the first place. Anyway... Let's uh, keep going. Oh, hey! Nether portal! Ooh, and we get some treasure chests. Alright. All kinds of creatures are going to rank S. That's a lovely thing to see. God, look at how many knowledge ranks we're gaining just from this one room granted we got we opened so many treasure chests at once no rare loot but you know still got some uh, some good stuff out of it and we are gonna have a large chest as well somewhere in this realm which is in fact our realm objective And we're not going to be summoning 
anything at the divination candle because it's gonna be really annoying with enemies having extra traits and resurrecting. That combination of things is a... Uh... Has my mimic... Has your has your macro somehow been changed? Because this is the second time in a row that he's cast the wrong spell. And I definitely selected the macro. So I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to investigate this. I'm gonna have to investigate this. Oh fuck this. Because my creatures are, well, my Mimic in particular is just not casting the spells that I need. Hey, even more, oh, even more Nether Stones. Resurrection on attack. That's an interesting spell. But what is going on with my Mimic? But like, what macro do you have? Oh, if your blind cast greater dispel. Right, so the macro is working properly, but for some reason pe uh, people are just blinding this guy very often in this realm. Okay. I thought one of my macros had bugged out, but in fact, not only had it not bugged out, but it was working exactly as it should be for the uh, contingency that it was meant to address. That if, uh... Oh my god, what the fuck have these guys done? They've shuffled the timeline and... Uh, I, don't... I mean, they're gonna die in just a moment. But it's still... A... And... Oh, that was such an annoying fight. Irritating fight. Right, start off with a nice... Blank slate. Follow up with uh, just punching this guy to death. He's gonna come back to life and immediately be shunted back into the nether realm. And apparently we've got bad karma heading our way. But I don't mind. I do not mind. Alright, well, we gotta keep going. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, uh, whatever. I'll just punch you. I'm not gonna bother with Black Slate this time. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of having to cast all these extra spells just because enemies are being obnoxious. That's the realm quest done. Ooh, and we can turn in our experiment. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna immediately hand in my Rune of Prophecies, which is probably what I should do. What the... Why was he resisting? Probably because of one of his extra traits. Anyway, some irritating stuff going on. Thankfully, there's only one enemy left. All right, they're all they're all gonna come back, but they're all gonna die. Fuck off. There we go. What are you? You're the priest master. Right. This time we are gonna have to do black slate. And this is exactly why. You know what? Let's do. Uh, 
Entangling roots? Yeah, well, let's do some roots. Yeah, let's do some roots. Yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Just getting the, uh, the red white to kill everyone. The one thing about the dread white is when he gains health, other party members don't gain health. As opposed to when our animators gains health, other party members do gain health. So it's technically safer to use Clayman on the animators. And it gets you to the same result anyway. But directly buffing the uh, dread white, I think it will get his health higher quicker. Well, that's annoying. But now he's dead. And he's back. Fuck off, dude. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. Alright. Are we done? There, there's one enemy. And there's no, no avoiding you. Definitely not summoning anything at the candle, I mentioned that earlier. Oh, hey, Riddle Dwarf dude. Vertrag rules over eternity's end. Give me my tickets, thank you. And what else is there in this realm? Not a lot. I think we're done. Oh no, we gotta collect our buried treasure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Look at the rate at which we're taking creatures to S rank. It's really... I feel like the floodgates have really opened up. Ooh, oh, and we've also got to collect the, uh, the paintbrush. It's easy to forget these multi-stage things. With a paintbrush, you have to find it. Then it goes somewhere else. You've got to find it again. With the... Uh, uh, with the buried treasure, you have to find the map. Then you have to find the treasure. So sometimes... You have to backtrack to areas you've already been to in order to uh, fully complete a realm. And things like that are easy to miss. Very easy to miss. So I know what I should be doing is as soon as I hand this in, I should be handing in the Rune of Prophecies. But what I'll be doing is... Uh, what I'll be doing is... Let's start another pilgrimage first. Is anybody at 48? No, everybody's at 49. Or above. So we'll go with Ariamaki. Oh, uh, favored by Torrent. 10 for hitting rank 50 is wonderful. And I'll just immediately start another uh, experiment. What I should be doing is, I should be handing in my Rune of Prophecies right now. But instead, I'll hand it in at the end of this episode. I just want to give myself a chance to maybe f uh, fill the whole thing. There's just something really satisfying about seeing the whole Rune of Prophecies filled up. And it's something that I haven't seen in a while. And I'd like to see it if I at all possibly can. And we do have a... Uh, Another boss fight coming up. Three eighty three is acceptable. We're gonna be going into the arachnid nest for this. 
Let's see if maybe we can find another nether portal. And get this uh, rune of prophecies fully done. What else? Extra. Man, are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Extra traits and chance to resist damage. This is... An annoying ass realm. <sighs> but you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. At least we got one of the good outcomes from that. And we're getting knowledge with the elementals as well. That's nice. Start off with Black Slate, follow up with this. Oh my god. They're fused? Wait, they're, they're all fused with Mogwai? What was the Mogwai trait again? I've never seen... I've never seen uh, enemies be randomly fused with one of these uh, special creatures. But what was the Mogwai trait? What was the Mogwai trait? I'm not sure how that's gonna affect things, but I guess just something to bear in mind. Oh, I didn't do blank slate. So hopefully this doesn't uh, cause uh, some issues. Alright, we get more uh, loot out of you. That's good. Less creatures, that sucks. A nice arbitration, though. Yeah, we killed all of them. That's good. Definitely not going to be summoning anything. Three more enemies and a master fight as well. Okay. Ooh. Another nether stone. You love to see it. Alright, again. Black slate. Followed by this. We can summon another one of those if we need. Oh, and we get the bad outcome here, but that's okay. Blank. Slate? At least they don't have Resurrect on death. At least there's that. Alright, let's go inside and... Uh, see what we can do with this guy and start off with a nice uh, blank slate we're having to cast this spell very often and again we didn't snare the enemies but you know what we, we can deal with that uh, this time I'll uh, just buff my animators Despite me trying to buff my animators, I think our Dread White still 
is gonna be the way to do this. And there we go. Even more nether stones. All right. The uh, the deluge, the the uh, the downpour of nether stones that started last episode seems to have continued. In this one, we are drowning in nether stones at this point. And honestly, I um I have no problem with that whatsoever. Right, kill you. And take you down. We still have a master to fight as well. Yes. And three more enemies on top of that. Finally, we've snared the enemies. There's going to be another buried treasure to find. Oh my god, this guy, this fucking guy. He must have rolled into some trait that like gave him damage reduction for uh, like having low health or something. Anyway, we'll do uh, start with this. And then we'll just follow up with the the uh, the good old tried and true Feign death from the Dread White. Alright. Woohoo! Even more nether stones. Alright. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna... Man, should I just start... Crushing them up, like, right now? No, we, we have... We don't have any urgent need to get more piety. We should wait. We should wait until we get more, uh, more of a piety bonus. Oh, what the fuck? Whatever. They're dead. Extra traits are just... They introduce too much chaos into the game. Things happen and you just have no idea why. You just have no idea why and you just gotta... Either get rid of the extra traits or just uh, resign yourself to the fact that you're gonna be seeing a whole lot of uh, nonsense. Nice arbitration! Got rid of their extra buffs. I'll, I will be doing this. And... Taking you out. Wonderful. Buried treasure as well. Come on, get, get out of there. Alright, I think we're done with this realm. Yes, we are. Is there any reason to go back home? I do not think so, unless... There's no false god fight either, so we'll just go to, to the next realm. Let me also see how long we've been recording for. 39 minutes, we can do a couple realms. Three seven three is uh, acceptable. All right, let's just do a random realm. And 
this is one of the rounds that we are below 50 f with the uh, with the guard. Be nice to get a bit of. Oh hey! Oh, this is a beautiful thing. We are gonna be able to finish our rune of prophecies. Hallelujah! All right, let's uh, let's go in and do it. And uh, what was? Uh, The one that I liked. Now this one I think is gonna give us no treasure. If it looks like a regular chest... I think this means no treasure? Yeah, fuck, ah. Uh, well, whatever. I, I mean, I... I wish, I wish I could find like a guide on what to do on that one. There's a... I... I know there's a way you can get a Mimic, and I, I, I in fact know how to get the Mimic from that encounter, but I'm like, there must be, or maybe there's some other uh, option with that, um, with that another encounter, some specific combination that gives you something really good. It just feels like the kind of thing where a, a game developer would hide a really hard to find secret like with the exact right combination you get something really good I'm willing to bet there's some combination out of all of the possible ones that gives you something really good Done. All right. Master of Efreets. Oh yeah, that, that was a master as well. Just casually murdered the master without even realizing who I was fighting. As you do. Realm completed as well. There might be a treasure chest here. Yeah, you should always sh always check little dead ends like this because they are prime spots for the game. The, the game loves putting treasure chests in places like that. All right, grab that. And have we found the uh, rune? Sorry, the uh, the candle. I'm not sure if we have. Well, now we have. Now we have. But we're not quite done with the realm, so... We're gonna be... Summoning some people. But... Continuing with the realm. So, we'll stick with the Whiskulls. This chance to resist damage combined with good luck is really b bothering me a lot. Well, it's fine. It is fine. Uh, you know, let's let's grab you. And we've taken you to rank S. Wonderful. Ooh, and we get a Pandemonium Shrine as well. A slight amount of favor with, with all the gods, but no ranks with any of them. It's fine, though. Oh, 
All right. Ooh, I didn't want to destroy that candle. Not that it makes a difference, but I like to keep the candles intact. For some reason, I just like to keep the candles like undestroyed compared to the other destructible objects in the realm. I just like the way they look. Alright, come on, let's just get through. Alright. And I think we'll hand in the Rune of Prophecies and we'll do one more realm. And then we'll call it an episode. Alright, keep going. Oh my god, what are these guys doing? They're being annoying. Just, just die. Thank you. Oh yeah, we're we're getting some nice favor rank with the these elementals that we just unlocked. We do, we do need to bring them to rank C though, before they can be a. Uh, summoned at the candle. Alright, come on. Get through you. Thank you. I don't think we're gonna hit another favor rank in this realm, because there's just not enough in the realm to give us the, the 400 that we would need. But we can make significant progress in that direction. Alright. How are we doing in terms of exploring this realm? What is left? Could be some chests over there. Other than that, I think we're good. I'll I'll talk to you pretty quickly. And let's check. There was indeed a chest there. And there was indeed a chest here as well, which is why you should always check dead ends like these. And finally, let's just head home, I think. Because we do have to hand in our Rune of Prophecies. And then we'll do our one final realm. And look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Nearly 50,000 for finishing it all. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that right now. Alright, nice amount of stuff. And another set of prophecies. And this time we do have to answer Riddle Dwarf questions, so I'll be a bit more careful with those. No arena combat, which uh, I'm okay with. And the rest are just uh, your standard things. So I'm just going to go in and... Uh... No False God fight. You know, where is our False God fight? 953. You know what? I tell you what, let's go until 
we finish our next False God fight. Just because it'll make life a little bit easier for us uh, in uh, the Get of the Gods stuff. Or, or should we just call it? You know, I'll, I'll see how I feel at the end of this episode, uh, at the end of this realm. If we get through, through this realm quickly, and if there aren't any really annoying realm properties that make things go really long, which it doesn't seem like there are, then we'll do one more realm and we'll do the false god as well. Sounds good to me. Already we're completing stuff. Yeah, I think we'll get to th through this pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and we can check to see if uh, my hypothesis on whether battle fatigue instantly ends the Jotun fight, if that's correct. And I, I'm really curious to see if uh, that's going to be the case. Uh, they just had to be agile, you pieces of garbage. Uh, uh, and they're defending as well, but it didn't help them. Fuck off. Please stop, please stop. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried about whoever the hell you are. The Dryad Master, good for you. Alright. And uh, let's go uh, this way, this way. This away. All right. Ooh, there's a buried treasure. That's good. And there's that. And we're about to hit rank 50 with Shalan. In fact, we just have. Sometimes refill spell gem charges, that doesn't really matter that much for our party. I think for most parties, that like you have other ways of getting your charges back. You don't need to rely on realm properties for that, especially if it's something that only sometimes happens. We hit rank D with the Rye Trap. Already we're hitting rank D with these guys. I love it. You know, some of these guys are gonna resurrect, no doubt. But in the end, they died. Alright, got some chests over here. Or a chest. Another chest. Don't know where the uh, the candle is. If we've even come across it. All right. 
right. Oh, easy. Oh, there could be a chest back here. Not there, but here. There wasn't, though. There could be something in this little room. And I already see that the candle is in there. Yep. Getting some nice knowledge with all kinds of creatures. Are we done with the realm? Yeah, we are done. Are we... I mean, we're done with the realm quest. Are we done with the realm overall? The answer is no. So I will... Summon some of these guys while we, uh... Some of these guys while we go around and uh, explore these last couple of rooms. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit you, why not? I know these guys are meant to look like a, like a combination of treants, but with the aesthetic of looking like a, it's a like you know the uh, the head of foam on on top of a, a pint of beer, but it, they really just look like broccoli to me, or or, or cauliflower, I guess, and it makes me. <laughs> Kind of hungry. I uh, I'm gonna have dinner as soon as I'm done with this uh, episode. I actually I, I love broccoli. I, I don't like I don't like cauliflower as much as broccoli. It's, I don't know. I'm sure there are ways to make cauliflower that are really tasty, but I I feel like even the tastiest wouldn't compare. Like broccoli it tastes so good, and you don't even have to do that much. It's just, even like, like without putting anything on it, uh, like oven roasted broccoli, okay, oven roasting, it takes a small amount of work, but even just that without putting anything else on it, to me, that, you know, tastes pretty good. Cauliflower, I'm, I'm sure there's some, some recipe out there that's amazing that I just don't know about, but, uh, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a taste preference thing. But yeah, that's... I think <laughs> I've spent enough uh, time on this tangent. So let's uh, finish this realm and then we can uh, take out the, uh, the false god. And we'll see if my hypothesis was correct. Ooh, hey! What's this? Nether realm that's very far away from both the exit and the god portal. Huh. But it's got nothing in it except for a bunch of garbage. Okay. Usually you find nether realms a lot closer to, you know, the main landmarks of the realm. Namely, the god altar and uh, the entrance portal, or like, or just like the entrance location. All right, we'll hit this final guy, and then, unless there's some pressing reason, I think we're just gonna go move on to the next realm, the final realm for the episode. But before we go to the next realm, we're gonna head back home and we're gonna make that minor modification to my uh, spells. So what I'll do is I'll... Creature 6. I will get rid of... Uh... Get her, I'll get rid of Reincarnation. We've never really used it that much. And I'll put Exhaustion in its place. 
And you know what? I'll I'll make it uh, generous. And the rest of it, like we don't even need to put anything else on it. And now we are gonna go into the arachnid nest for this final fight against Yotun. And we'll see if this works. Making exhaustion uh, generous not only preserves the number of uh, uh, ethereal spell charges that we have, but it, it also means that anybody can cast it, which is a very useful thing to have. Assuming you have access to your ethereal charges, which sometimes enemies can uh, uh, mess with those. Three fifty-five is acceptable. Let's go into the arachnid nest and let's see if this works. Now I've got to remember: don't summon enemies until after the god portal has at least spawned in. Oh, it looks like we're about to get a favor rank as well. And what are we dealing with in this realm? Nah, nothing too bad. Oh, but only no additional attacks or ca or casts, and enemies are shelled. That's fucking annoying. That's really annoying. This is a really, really irritating combination of things. Uh, a really irritating combination. Because... Shelled means they're going to absorb one hit without taking damage. Ah, we get, we're getting bad luck here as well. God damn it. So shelled means they're going to avoid one hit. I should just do finger of death. Let me just do finger of death. Oh, man, what? Oh my god, what? Uh, but we have bad luck as well. That's annoying. For sure, you can take less damage. 25% less of the no damage that we were going to deal anyway. Seems like a good deal to me. In case you're wondering, stuff like this, the fact that enemies can start with shelled, is the reason why I normally would... is the reason why I have goad in the first place. It gives me multiple attacks per turn. In case the enemies are doing some nonsense that prevents my first attack from landing, the extra two attacks means that nonetheless I have a, a good chance of hitting them, but of course, if they have multiple overlapping things that are both stopping me, one that's giving them one free hit that they can absorb, and another one that's taking away my extra attacks, then that's, uh, then that's just, I mean, it's just, it's just awful is what it is. It's a travesty, it's a crime, it's an outrage. It's an injustice. It's just a uh, like like. Can you believe? Can you believe they're putting me through this? You know, just uh, just spare a thought. Spare a thought for poor old me. All right. Let's uh, again make sure that we don't inadvertently summon anything at the candle. All right. Yeah, whatever. I'll take that. Y 
you know what? Uh, I'll do greater dispel and then this. I think that's going to be a, qu a quicker way to deal with these guys. And we get more resources from battles. Why not? So four more enemies. The master as well. That's a treasure golem. You best believe I'm gonna hunt you down, hunt you to the death after I chase you into this uh, dead end. One punch was all it took. And Regalus is annoyed, but we did it for the loot, so we have no regrets. Hashtag no regrets. Get some loot out of you, that's good. Again, good job from the Dread White. The start of battle arbitration, I think, is ultimately still more useful than, uh, than any other spell you could have. I mean, you could do greater dispel instead of arbitration. It's the, the same idea. You're getting rid of annoying buffs that the uh, enemy starts out with, especially Rebirth, or in this case, Shelled. Um, but th in this case, I'll... Uh, uh, well, you know what, first of all, let's do Black Slate. Second of all, let's... Uh, start doing some... Some of this action. Some more of this action. And I think ooh, you are uh, not dead. Uh, you know what? Let me just maybe finger you to death. There we go. Get more Elf Mastery. Okay. Now, what sort of spell is Enfeeble? I need to be serious about this. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? Is it... Where did I put my phone? Am I gonna have to... Okay, it's... Uh, hang on. Give me a moment. Uh, sorry, my phone was a little bit out of reach. I don't want to open my browser because sometimes it makes the uh, it makes the uh, the game slow down. Like Firefox will just start downloading a bunch of updates. Anyway, Serum Ultimate and Feeble. It's a death spell, evidently. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. Now, where are the rest of these enemies? And they're being annoying. No doubt about that. But there are only only three of them left. Oh, uh, protected? Are you fucking kidding me, man? Okay, at least this should kill them. There we go. I hate I hate protected elites so much. Oh, Dread White, why didn't you do arbitration? Because now they're gonna start resurrecting. You could have stopped them from doing it. Again, don't summon anything at the candle. 
and that shrine didn't give us anything. I think it was trying to give us like a buff or a debuff, but we're all already at our max. Here we go, and it's right in front of us. Ooh, and a mimic chest. And the mimic is dead. And nothing uh, exciting from the mimic. All right, now let's see if this works. Nice arbitration. Does this work? It doesn't work. Okay. So, I mean, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that would be the case. So, in this case, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Everybody defends. Miraxis does entangling roots. Ebony Ant also does entangling roots. Dread White provokes, you defend, defend, and then we just keep doing this just constantly. And eventually he's gonna get bored. It was worth a try. Maybe it happens at the same time as Battle Fatigue, so it takes the same amount of time, but it's not triggered by Battle Fatigue itself. Yeah, I mean, I had a feeling, but you know, I, I don't mind. You, know, you, you gotta try. You've gotta actually test out <clears throat> test out your uh, expectations and see if uh, the results match what you predicted but what we get for our uh, heaping well first of all what do we get for our anointment convocation that could be fun You know what, I'm gonna take a... Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna take this one. Enemies take more damage from their allies. It feels like it could be good for certain builds. What is our heaping treasure? Our heaping treasure is... a tiny amount of reputation with the Nature Guild. And, uh, just... A bunch of uh, not that exciting loot. We're gonna get more loot for completing the realm itself. Again, nothing too exciting. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head home. Where is the uh, where is home? Well, you know what? We might as well summon some people at the candle. And where is the exit? And we'll just kill the ones that are on the way to the exit. And we've hit rank S. Wonderful. So when our Dread White does not cast Arbitration, we cast Greater Dispel, and then in the second turn we just use our normal attack to get the kill. When our Dread White does cast Arbitration, we just hit them with the attack. Here we frickin' go! 
the card has been obtained, and this is our first elemental card. More notoriety from the gambling dwarf, uh, dwarves. So this is the last uh, significant resource boosting card set that we have yet to complete. And it feels great to get that right at the end of the episode, right as we're uh, about to close off. How long have we been going? An hour and a bit, I think. Yep. An hour and 15. Uh, an okay amount of time. Especially because we went a whole extra realm extra. A whole extra realm beyond what we'd or originally planned. Alright, come on. Get out of here. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to run into all of these- oh, 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 run into all of these enemies. Oh, we're out of these charges? I guess we can use some of our ethereal charges. And I don't want to fight you, so I'm just gonna head home. So, as I mentioned, we do have to get back to the Gate of the Gods, and what I'm gonna do between episodes is, I am gonna try, I'm gonna look through the, uh, the Gate of the Gods guide. One great thing that the guide does, uh, it's, and I'll link it in the next episode as well. One great thing, and you can find the same guide in any of my previous episodes where I've done any of the Gate of the Gods stuff. Seriously, uh, the person who put together the guide has done a, a, a great job. Um, so, one thing that the person who put the guide together has done, which is really good, is that they've not only given you the guide and what to do, but they also make special mention for god fights that are annoying. Apocrinox and Zante were singled out by the guide as annoying fights, and that's why I got them out of the way first. I want to get the really annoying fights done first. So what I'm going to do between episodes is uh, I am going to see what the next or one of the other annoying fights is. I'm going to see, I don't know, whatever the guide tells me is a, an irritating fight. And then that's the one we will do next episode. Oh, I just realized I never gave this guy the... Uh, the custom dialogue that I mentioned I'd give him a couple episodes ago. You know what? This time for sure, for sure I'll do it next episode. I'm gonna make a note of it on my phone. I'm gonna make a note of it on my phone. But yeah, next episode we're gonna be going back into the Gate of the Gods to take down one of these gods all the way to level 50, but I haven't decided which one yet. Uh, you will find out in the next episode. In fact, you'll see it in the thumbnail of the episode. But yeah, that's gonna be all for uh, this one. What did we accomplish this episode? Well, we found uh, one card right at the end. Our first elemental card. And let me check something. Do we have ten of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. And so it's just a matter of slowly getting the knowledge with them. We found our first elemental card. We found a few more nether stones. We beat the usual assortment of bosses. These are some of the achievements we got. You know, I'll... It's better to show them on this screen. We just got some achievements for fighting masters, for beating nether bosses, for getting favor with the gods as well, and uh, for for donations as well, and uh, you know for for masters. We got the forager achievement, so we're making progress on that one. And uh, at some point, we unlocked arbiter. I think that might have been in the uh, in the previous episode. 
But yeah, um, a nice amount of progress. Again, we're not finding cards at a super high rate, but that's not the point. The point of these episodes is to just do regular realms because there's a lot of progress, a lot of achievements that you can only get from regular regular realms. You know, namely fighting false gods, fighting nether bosses, and uh, all kinds of other stuff. But yeah, that's going to be all for this one. So it's time for me to say thank you for watching. Hope you had a great time, and I hope you'll join me in the next episode as well. And uh, until then, take care.